Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You're now tuning in to great days. So I'm going to pretty much make another episode on boosting brain function. I made two episodes previously, which I talked about, um, one method being uh, eating with the non-dominant hand and then the second method fasting okay but today I'm going to pretty much cover another method for pretty much boosting your brain's function very very simple methods as well these are all things that we are already doing okay but you can refine them and you can uh, bring in more of a boost to your, your brain's function you know so let's get right into it today's video is boosting brain function number three now so um, in the first two I pretty much talked about using the non dominant hand so for me it would be my left hand to eat with and I started doing this like at least a year and a half ago and uh, I noticed that my non when using my non-dominant hand to eat it started to balance out my my brain's hemispheres you know and uh, once they started balancing out more I was uh, able to start accessing the the corpus callosum which is the, the bridging between the two hemispheres and then uh, I want to say my perspective of life it, it pretty much changed because there was a <laughs> there was a like a big shift in in, in uh, my brain's function you know in the way that I was only ever kind of using one side of the brain and I wasn't even aware of, of what the the non-dominant side of the brain was actually doing for me and then as I started to balance them out, I started to actually be able to experience the, 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 the balancing state of the brain's hemispheres. And then uh, it, it went a little bit deeper than that with, with being able to access the corpus callosum too. And then I understood that, that simply just like using the left or, or your non-dominant hand to eat with, it'll do that for you, you know, it'll balance out the brain's function, it'll strengthen the brain, and then, uh, that in itself, it, it boosts the brain's functioning, you know, it's a very, very simple method, I've been eating with my non-dominant hand ever since, um, to balance out the hemispheres, and then, I, and then I, I ended up switching to chopsticks, too, to just give it a little bit more of a, of a, a fluency to it, or a little bit more, you know of that of that uh that strengthening of my non-dominant hand so another one would be fasting that's the second one i covered fasting is great for bringing in a boost of brain function because there um when there's no contents in the stomach right whenever your stomach is empty when your bodily contents are are not there whenever you're, you're as empty stomached as possible all of the energy it, it, it just goes into um, I want to say brain functioning you know because 
whenever you eat, whenever you have a full stomach, a lot of the energy of the nervous system or of the body, it goes into digesting the food that you eat. So you're using the energy to pretty much digest the food. And, and it's leaving you uh, open. It's leaving you kind of like, it's leaving you, uh, I want to say stagnant or, or maybe maybe a little uh, less intelligent, you know, in a way. And whenever you're on an empty stomach, all of that energy that goes into digesting the food, it pretty much is, is freed up. And then it just kind of uh, is all for intelligence, you know, it's all for brain functioning at that point. It's like uh, the, the brain regions responsible for controlling your digestive process are, are not going to be using as much energy as they are whenever you're on a full stomach. So they go to different regions of the brain, the energy, and then it, uh, it pretty much allows for, for just like creativity and... and um, bringing creation you know or, or just strictly intelligence uh so in that way fasting has also been proven to boost brain function as well so if you're somebody who's always fasting then i'm sure that that you're at least more intelligent than somebody who is pretty much eating four or five times a day you know um that's proven <laughs> okay but in today's, I'm going to add another method, all right? Very, very simple method. Today's method for, for boosting brains functioning is music, all right? And all of us listen to music, right? Everybody listens to music. So music is a great way to boost your brain's function because it allows you to pretty much dissolve away any grooves that have been made in, in your brain's communications, you know? from brain region to brain region there's communications going on and music what it can do for us it can actually dissolve that uh that communication no not the communication itself it can dissolve the grooves that the that these connections are pretty much casting you know and it's these grooves that are pretty much creating a uh, a, a concrete like a concrete like course you know in the way that uh they'll they'll pretty much groove right they'll cause these grooves these patterns and then you'll stick to these patterns for as long as you continue to let them embed themselves you know and and in that way it inhibits you from being uh, in your highest intelligence so what music actually does it's it's a, a complete harmonization you know it, it's like uh it, it's perfect for, for, for fifth dimensional uh, perceptions because it's all about harmony and it's all about creativity and it's all about love, right? Th that's the nature of music. And uh, whenever you listen to music, you're literally like, you're expressing your, your divine intelligence. So it's like whenever you're, you're listening to music, you're, you're getting in harmony with, with how the universe is pretty much expressing itself you know because music is just expressing expression of oneself and um, in this way whenever you listen to music it is actually boosting your brain's function now there's a lot of there's a lot of music you can listen to any music and and it's going to boost your brain's function but then there's also musics that will pretty much uh they'll bring your intelligence to pinnacle you know this is like classical music classical music is great for for boosting your brain's function and boosting intelligence because use usually there's no words involved if it's just straight instruments then that's that's ideal for boosting your brain's function you know um even if there is words involved it, it's like the meaning of these words are going to uh, allow for boosting of the brain's function as well as long as it's not meaning that goes against your own uh, progression in life you know or or not only your progression in life or maybe maybe more so going against your your personal truths or whatever it may be you know like 
like uh, I want to say there's 440 hertz music right and there's 432 hertz and 440 hertz this is what the music industry uses all right and I don't know if it's that the artists themselves are uh, are creating music to this frequency you know I mean they're obviously creating music to 440 Hertz right but it's more so that the music industry as a whole it, it restricts them to only be able to make music with 440 Hertz okay so it's like uh, 440 Hertz this is what the music industry uses right so all songs that you hear that are mainstream or whatever or you hear on the radio or uh, are coming from the music industry I want to say chances are they're tuned in to 440 Hertz and 440 Hertz is this harmonious it's this resonant with the universe with the universal electromagnetic field all right so what this means is that when you listen to 440 Hertz it actually uh, it, it imbalances you because it's disharmonious to the universe so when you listen to it it's going to put you in a disharmonious state with the universe and this is why the music industry actually uses 440 Hertz so often all right it's uh, a conspiracy it's one of those things that the matrix is doing because they don't want people to be within their true nature their higher nature of being spiritual or being spirit or being energy or being eternal they don't want people resonant with the universe because you'll start opening up all of this divine knowledge you know so this is why they they made it to where all the music has a disresonance to the electromagnetic field of the earth and the universe now there's 432 hertz which is uh it, it's the universal frequency which is the one i include in the introduction and uh it's on the background right now the the music that i'm playing is 432 hertz it's literally containing or it's it's structured or or it's uh it's built by its design is golden mean logarithmic spiralings and these designs are literally universal designs they're universal mathematics okay and this is the magic of 432 hertz it's resonant with the universe and the electromagnetic field that runs throughout the universe whereas 440 hertz it is disresonant and and it, it imbalances you and and balance equals health health derives from the word being whole or the word health derives from being whole okay so when you're in a state of wholeness when you're in a balanced state when you balance out your energies when you're grounded you're in your health okay it's it's a holism it's holism it's holistic seeing everything as whole is what health is and 440 hertz puts you off your balance because it makes you disresonant to the universe and your true nature and uh in that way this music it can make you sick and it can actually bring down your brain's functioning whereas 432 hertz which is what a lot of classical music uses and um all of the earlier music that you can find it'll be 432 hertz you know it, it's resonant to the universe and and this frequency it'll boost your brain's function you know um so you can listen to music even if you listen to 440 hertz 440 hertz um it still puts the the brain's intelligence into into effect you know because you're still you're still within uh, that that expression, but it's just it's skewed a little bit. It's disresonant. 432 hertz music is more resonant with the electromagnetic field, so it allows you to come into a state of balance. It allows you to open up your divine knowledges and your divine expression, your divine creativities, and uh, from there you can really boost your brain's functioning. You know, um, that's why I say classical music is really good because it's perfect for for boosting your brain's function there's uh i'll say all music you know but but specifically 
432 hertz would be the best. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to conclude it for today's video. That's all I really wanted to talk about was boosting your brain function through music. I'm probably going to do another video on this or maybe two or three more and uh, just give like three more methods, you know. Very, very simple things that we're all already doing. Okay. And that they pretty much boost your brain's functioning. So you can become more intelligent. You can uh, slowly, slowly progress in this way. And uh, you can free yourself through some knowledge, you know. So do thank everybody for watching today's video. And I hope you did enjoy the content. Subscribe over here to the left of me. Drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day. Peace out.